now you can see this reaction bromo nitration or bromo benzene reaction is complete and it's time to do work up of the reaction and for that we have already set up a uh, ice cold water and here is a filtration assembly so we'll add this uh, filter paper and then on the big funnel so let's start the work up of this reaction all right so what we're going to do is start by removing the clays and adapter we're going to go ahead and turn off the stirring as well we're going to rinse off the thermometer So now what we're going to do is add this reaction mixture to 40 milliliters of ice cold water. First I'm going to take out the stir bar. You can put it yeah. So we're going to dump the whole reaction mixture into this water. So you notice a lot of the solids stayed in. So that's why we have this wash bottle. Try and get some of this stuff to come into the solution a little bit easier. We can also use our spatula to kind of scrape it. A lot of product look like here. Yeah. And now we have to wash it. So we have to scrap all the product into from the round motor class. So sometimes this uh, is very hard to came out. So what I did, I bent this uh, spatula a little bit more, and then uh, you can see it's very easy now. It will take some time, in step by step, but it it is coming. So this you can do once you see it's like not coming. It's like a butter butter type of product. So now you can see this round bottom flask is all nice and clean. We have removed it and it's time to filter. So what we're gonna do is use this vacuum, vacuum filtration. We're gonna have this Buchner funnel hooked up to the faucet. It's important to, before you start your filtration, you wanna make sure that your filter paper is wet so that you don't get any solid underneath it. Add this whole thing in here. So what's happening here is we're separating the water from our solid, which is our product. The reason we're doing this, uh, this step specifically, is because uh, we use two really strong uh, acids and the reaction. So this water is still extremely acidic. So basically what we're gonna do, we could add a base, but we're not gonna do that. Instead what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wash this product with a lot of water to make sure that there's no more acid in it. We're basically just gonna do a dilution. So we're just gonna add 
highest amounts of water until um, this pH paper says that it's no longer acidic. So we're basically just going to probably fill this thing up two or three times. So with that, we have water right here. It's ideal if you get your solid kind of pressed out so that more water can reach all of it instead of clumped up. It's a little bit hard with this stuff, it's still kind of sticky. Cool. And then we're just gonna we're just going to wash. So it's almost full. Now we, we have to check the acid if we have washed completely or not. So take a litmus paper and check. So this is litmus paper is red. It means this solution is acidic, which is nice. And what about the filter paper from this? water is coming from the funnel it's just a little bit uh, acidic a little bit acidic yeah we so can we wash a little bit more so we have to wash one more time no one more drop is coming probably we can check it okay let's compare this to so this is coming this uh, litmus paper is coming from the filtrate which is red and this is from the funnel so we need a little bit more washing maybe one more time half, half, a, half a liter and we have to throw this in the aqueous waste so this is the second 500 ml water wash and we will check the pH of filter from the Buchner funnel and compare with the previous one so here you can see the difference this is the filtrate acidic filtrate yes and after the first 500 ml water wash it was little bit pink and this is after second wash So much better and we will give one more time 500 ml and then it will be ready for crystallization right yeah. okay so this is the third and uh, third and final wash after 500 so basically right now we have 1.5 liter of wash and let's check the P pH of now So this is the from third wash and if we compare all three washes with this plain water of pH, this is very close to the plain water and now it's time to recrystallization. So here we have our product, crude product, so we are going to recrystallize with 95% ethanol. So we are going to use this 95% ethanol to recrystallize.